With Godot going to the Game Developers Conference in March of 2024, I'm sure the developers will be working hard to have a stable release of Godot 4 before then. In the meantime, however, incredibly useful tutorials are still being made for Godot 3.5. Here are just a few of the best which I found this week. Game Dev Journey Smash Bros is a hugely popular game, and if you're a fan of the platform fighter, you might want to know how to make your own. If that's the case, then Apano has got a great tutorial series running, taking you through everything you need to do to create a platform fighter in Godot 3.5. This is Apano's first time as a tutorial maker for Godot, and what a way to start. Go and sub to Apano now, because we want more of this. Perhaps the first and most important thing for any game is the character controller, which controls the movement of the player. If you can get this right, it can change everything about a game and really draw people in. Game Dev Compass has a great advanced movement tutorial for Godot 3.5 in 3D although he mentions that the controller should work just as well in 2D. Game Dev Compass is also new to the Godot tutorial scene, and they're really making an effort, so please help them to grow the Godot Game Dev community by supporting them with your subscription. Mina Pesho has a tutorial out explaining how to implement a basic system of waypoints in Godot using c -sharp to allow the player to move according to a specific pattern. The video is in English, but there's also a French version available if you prefer that. Mina is a freelance game developer and a tech writer, and as far as I can see, this is their first foray into Godot tutorials, and it's an amazing start. I encourage you to send your support over there so that we can get more like this. I really enjoy videos which compare game engines and I love to hear the experiences of developers who've used one engine for a long time when they switch to Godot. Well, Axe Wizard is porting his game from Game Maker Studio to Godot and so you'll get to see how your thinking needs to change when making the switch. It's a great video so please watch the whole thing on Axe's channel. Finally. Tristan Batcher has an amazing tutorial out showing you how to make an MMO in Godot using Python to run the game server and even setting up a basic chat room. The project and the tutorial itself is really well done and worth your time to watch. It's an ambitious project and so please watch on Tristan's channel and let's encourage him to create more like this. That's all for this week, thanks for joining me and I do hope to see you all again next time. Thank you.